What if I told you there was a mob farm of legendary status, so fast that only a few have ever dared to attempt to build it, and so powerful that you need to travel back in time and end of life farm? More than 50,000 times faster than your average mob farm, utilizing sliced portals to prevent the fastest stream of mobs Minecraft has ever seen. But downgrading a world is highly dangerous, capable of eradicating the world forever, but today, I take on the impossible. But I think I found a decent area for the perimeter, just because it's relatively flat. But I gotta mark it out to get a sense of where I'm gonna put the machines. Well, uh, kinda just built this whole thing and realized it's the wrong way. If I launch it off, it will go this way instead of towards the other pillar. Oh, I'm so stupid. Alright, I finally got both of these machines running, but there's one slight issue. Water is bad, and my plan for the water clearing is finding big sections like this and clearing them all out while I wait for other sections to be opened up above. That way, I'm being efficient. Oh, this area is so painful to clean up all the water in. But I've gotten most of the water out of the trenches, so I think I can start up the machines again. And here goes one, and two. Look at them go. Beautiful. Let's go, we're like a third of the way done. Maybe even a little more. Diamonds! Yeah, I'm gonna need to build another one of these machines. More diamonds! More diamonds! Aw, no more diamonds. Uh, remember back at the beginning? When I said this needed to be down to the void? Yeah, it's about that time. And although I tried, this just doesn't seem to be working. Plan B, make a big ol' machine for it. And although the machine is actually really simple, there's a downside. For every piece of bedrock that you want to break, you need a piston. And since the hole needs to be 100 by 100 blocks wide, and there's 5 layers of bedrock, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of pistons. Gosh, of course it chooses now to just like self-destruct. Why are there so many of them? Well, that right there took a week of my life. And um, shut up. I know. Let's just say the machine broke and I would have had to rebuild the entire machine to get this. So I decided just to skip it for now. But we need to work on the collection system first. Because, uh, well, let's just say if all those mobs went into Nether at the same time and were not collected, we would have ourselves a stage 5 emergency. Oh, hmm. Guys, uh, I've got some bad news. You know how I was planning to do the collection system? I was kind of assuming that it could be built on top of the bedrock. But my good friend Blue decided to mention that it, it won't work if it's on top of the bedrock. For some reason, if you build it on top of the bedrock, the machine that keeps all the bats from like hailstorming everywhere and breaking your game won't work. So that means I have to bust a hole in the bedrock and build it down there. Uh... Oh, this will just be so much fun to clear. Out of all the places. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, nothing like the present. Yeah, we can slice portals now. I should probably finish building first, though. Okay, here's the game plan. I'm gonna use this thing to slice this portal. And although this may seem a little bit complicated, you would be very right in thinking that. What if I actually hooked it up and tried to slice it right now? There is absolutely no shot that it would work. Reason being, I'm in 1.19. 
And guess what Mojang decided to do? Yeah, remove Portal Slicer. So now I have to downgrade my world and hope it doesn't corrupt it. That would be bad, right, Mr. Pigman? Right? I really hope this doesn't break my game. Downgrading a world is not supported. Well, let's hope this goes okay. Okay, I don't think the world's been destroyed yet. All right, in order to get these three blocks destroyed, we need to hook it up to this rail line right here. Like so. All right, and to turn this thing on, I flick this and press U. Yeah, that seemed to work. So now, in theory, if I break this, the portal will stay. That's kind of cool. That is sick, dude. Okay, yep, let's head back to 1.19 before I break anything else. Okay, so for the actual UL farm, lots of portals must be made and sliced. And it's just now that I'm realizing I may need some obsidian. Like a lot of obsidian, maybe. But thanks to this absolute beast of an end station, it'll be pretty simple to AFK. I just need to go make some extra pickaxes. Now to just fill up this thing with pickaxes, flick the lever, and now we've got a whole bunch of slaves working for us. Beautiful. But in the meantime, I also do need a decent amount of glazed terracotta, so I can go take care of that. Thank you. And with all the terracotta and obsidian collected, we can finally begin work on the actual EOL farm. Now, the first step in this massive project is actually going to be filling in this giant void hole with all the terracotta and obsidian. Because the obsidian is going to be used for the portals, and the terracotta, well, let's just say, a safety measure. <laughs> what? Why are there so many of them? Guys, I think it works. Yeah, okay, I'm getting out of here. Gotta figure out how to make a mob switch. Okay, step one done. Now I need to make a lag machine, a bat enslavement camp, a portal chopping machine, and a big old roof. Not in any specific order, of course, but however, I think I wanna build the big lag machine because that sounds fun. Although, unless I'm mistaken, I believe since I gathered a whole bunch of materials for the bedrock breakers, and one of the main components of the lag machine is observers, I think I'm pretty much set. And I want to build the lag machine as far up in the sky as I can, because, well, <laughs> too much lag is not good. Oh yeah, we have got ourselves a lag machine. And I'm hoping I built it, like, in the right place. I don't really know, to be honest. I guess we're gonna find out. But next, I need to build the actual machine that is going to destroy all the portals. Basically, it's just going to sit here and go all the way across while I break all the portals. Sounds easy, but it takes like 50 hours. Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. Oh, uh, I think it's a bit laggy. So, theoretically, if I break this one here, and yep, that actually worked. Sit. Now I just have to do this like a thousand more times. Well, I hope you like it, because that took like a week. And if I click this button, we should not see much light coming from it. Otherwise, that means I did it incorrectly, and I would have to redo it, and... Well, I don't have to redo it. That's good news. But with every good news comes bad news. <laughs> At least usually in my case. And this time, if we come on over here to the nether, and fly on over to our beautiful storage system that we spent quite a while making, long story short, this storage system is built at positive positive coordinates, and the EOL farm is built at negative negative coordinates. Which means that this is in the wrong place. It should be, like, right here, but it, it's over there. So, yeah, I've got to rebuild this entire thing.
I'm gonna be honest, this took way too long. If I wasn't dead inside before, I am most certainly now. But you may be thinking, oh surely, you must be done now. Nope, I still need to collect over 200 turtle eggs. No, I'm not joking. Yeah, I have to go find a beach. Uh, you know, for some reason, I don't think my world completely survived. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is probably normal, right? Let me know what you think. Turtle! Okay, my little squiggly friends, I need you to stay put. Oh! Look at that, such a beautiful sight. And while we let Mr. Turtle AFK at our turtle farm, we can start demolishing all the stuff that we don't need. As soon as I can find my way back, that is. Looking better already, although not so much my pickaxes. However, for the bat switch, the easy part is actually going to be making the thing, because it's just a couple slices here and there. The hard part is I have to uh, spawn proof this entire area, including like a whole bunch of these caves too. Ow. So, plan of action. Flatten out this wall using a flying machine that does it for you because that'd be sick. And then go light up all the caves manually. I should probably also get rid of this lava at some point. Meh. It can stay for now, I guess. Smooth walls are incredibly underrated. This looks really good. <laughs> the machine, uh, not so much. I let it just sit there overnight and do its thing. And while that was running, also, I made a bat switch. Say hello, bat switch. You're gonna be really useful to me. But I actually started clearing out this area because this has to go. And all of this terracotta also has to go. Yippee. Alrighty, that part is done. Oh, uh, maybe not. Now we can say it's done. Well, sort of. I need to make a ring of glass around this entire thing, because that's where the turtle eggs go. It doesn't really require that much glass. I've honestly probably got all the glass I need in my super smelter. And Mr. Turtle has been busy at the turtle egg farm, so I think we're ready to finish this thing off. I think this thing is working. Oh no, poor chicken. Look at how fast these things are going. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Ha <laughs> ha!